Hello learners, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Simran from Team Cloud EML and today we are going to see some details about the topic Become a Data Analyst Without a Degree. Yes, you have heard it right. You can become a professional data analyst that too without a data analyst degree. And today we are going to look at the steps of how you, have, you need to become a data analyst without degree. So let's see. So uh, first let's understand that what exactly a data analyst does. So a data analyst collects, cleans and interprets data sets in order to answer a question or solve a problem. They work in many industries like business, finance, criminal justice, science, medicine and government. So what kind of customers should a business target in its next ad campaign? What age group is most vulnerable to a particular disease? What patterns in behavior are connected to financial fraud? These are the types of questions that uh, you might answer as a data analyst. Okay, so data analyst, uh, nowadays data analyst is found in each and every company, in each and every business because they play a major role in understanding the data collected by the company, okay, by the business and they also uh, interpret the data to get meaningful insights from the data. Okay. Let's see the skills required for becoming a data analyst. So these are the major skills that are required. Okay, there are certain technical skills as well as certain non-technical skills. So the technical skills required are Python or R. Okay, uh, you have to be proficient in either one of the languages that is Python or R. Then SQL is an important language for data analyst. Why? Because uh, SQL is a structured query language which uh, can be used to handle the data, okay, to query the data. Next, Excel, then you have Mathematics and Statistics, Tableau, Tableau and Power BI. Uh, these are the powerful data visualization tools. So, uh, being a data analyst, you also have to visualize the data, okay, because data visualization uh, helps in understanding the data to people who are not uh, technical people okay so when you want to explain your results or when you want to explain your insights uh, you need to use data visualizations why because you not only deal with technical people but various people are present in your team okay or even to your customer so uh, you need to explain the results in such a way that everyone can understand it and there is no nothing better than visualizations which can help you to understand data Next is analytical skills, communication skills and critical thinking. Okay, critical thinking is important because uh, you, you have to get the correct insights from the data okay, regarding the business and communication skills, you have to give the proper information to your team or to your customer. So if you're good in your communication skills, then you can properly communicate your results to your team. So from where do you learn these skills and what are the steps to become a data analyst? So first, what you will do is you will build up your skills. Okay, the skills that I mentioned in the previous slide, they are the major skills for a data analyst and the first step should be to build your skills. Next, you can work on projects with real data. Okay, uh, when, when HR or when the hiring company wants to hire you they will focus on the projects that you have done because projects when you do a project they give you a practical knowledge next you have to practice presenting your findings okay uh, if you are uh, performing a experiment and you you get a result okay but you don't present your results to anyone so there is no use of getting that result so that is this is important in the case of data analyst as well that you have to practice presenting your findings that whatever information you find you should be able to present it in the correct way so you, you have to practice that okay then next the last step is to get an entry level data analyst job so you have to uh, aim your career in data analyst in these four steps okay, without a degree so ne next 
uh, we are going to discuss some ways to build your skills. Okay, so you you are doing it without a degree, correct? So you have to use certain external sources. Okay, and uh, the first external source will be books. There are numerous online books available on data analyst. Okay, and you can uh, refer to these books because when you refer to a book, uh, they give you complete knowledge. Okay. Because if you check out the index of a certain book, you will get a complete idea that what contents are present in this book. And regarding a particular topic, the author will make sure that he uh, or she includes all the relevant topics for the particular topic. So this is the first book, Data Analy Analytics Made Accessible. Okay, and the author is Dr. Anil Maheshwari. If you search, search this book on the internet, you will easily get it. Next, the book is Big Data, a revolution that will transform how we live, work and think. Next is Python for Data Analysis, okay, where uh, you study data wrangling with pandas, numpy and ipython. So this book gives a detailed uh, python for data analysis, okay, it specifies the python that is required for data analysis. Next, you have Storytelling with Data, a data visualization guide for business professionals. So, this book majorly deals with the data visualization part. Next, you have Data Analytics, Become a Master in Data Analytics. So, this book covers all the concepts, the overall concepts of data analytics. And it is a quite good book. So, we have done with books. Next, you have various YouTube tutorials that you can refer to build your skills. The skills that we mentioned like Python, SQL, Excel or Tableau or communication skills, okay, all you can develop using YouTube tutorials. So let's see these YouTube tutorials as well for we have programming with Mosh. So this is a very famous YouTube channel where you can see this is a Python tutorial which is a six hours tutorial, you can go through it and it has given the Python from basic to advanced level. You can uh, visit this uh, tutorial as well and you can practice on yourself. Then you have learnbi.online. So this is learnbi.online where, where they teach SQL. Okay, there is a SQL video, a business intelligence video as well. Then you have Excel tutorials, then basic uh, SQL tutorials. Next you have the WSQ tech. Here you have a Python tutorial and an R tutorial as well. So you can also refer this. Then you have the Penguin Analytics. Uh, this is also a very nice YouTube channel where you can see uh, Tableau is explained in detail. See, Tableau and Excel both are covered properly in this tutorial. Next, you have the Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp has various playlists, various videos on Python, then object oriented programming. Also, you have um, C Python for everybody full course and Python for data science as well. And here you have SQL as well, see, SQL tutorial, it is a, a 4 hour 20 minutes tutorial, it will cover all the topics in SQL. Okay, then the next YouTube channel, Communication Coach Alex Line. Okay, so uh, communication is, is a very important skill in SQL, uh, sorry, for becoming a data analyst. So I'm recommending this YouTube channel, which is Communication Coach Alex Line. Okay, you can watch his videos and improve your communication skills. Next, uh, the, the second step for being a data analyst was relevant projects. Okay, you have to perform uh, relevant projects in the data analytics field. So these are some of the projects, sales data analysis, loan application studies, school performance report. COVID-19 insights analysis. Okay, you, you will find the data set of all these uh, projects in Kaggle. Okay, you can visit Kaggle and search for these projects, you will get the data set. And once you have built the skills of a data analyst, you can 
try your skills on this these projects next practice presenting your findings okay so a significant element of working as a data analyst as i already mentioned is to present your findings to decision makers and other stakeholders so when you are able to tell a story with the data you can easily help your organization make data driven decisions data driven decision making sometimes abbreviated to dddm can be defined as the process of making strategic business decisions based on facts data and metrics okay so uh, when you can easily present your data when you can easily story tell your data it becomes easy for the company stakeholders to make certain decisions okay but uh, if you are not able to present your data properly the person sitting front to you uh, make it confused about your data and can lead to uh, make wrong decisions okay so it is uh, it is good to practice presenting your findings wherein you can properly present whatever results you have got so this is a part of communication skills okay communication skills you should have good communication skills so that you can present your uh, data properly and the final step is to get an entry level data analyst job and these are certain responsibilities of a data analyst so understanding the goal uh, goal as in the company goal or the project goal then querying querying is like uh, you have to prepare your own questions so like and you have to find out the answer for those questions like if there is a certain company and if there is a certain data regarding it then you have to query the data next you have data mining which means extracting the data data cleansing data examining then interpreting data trends preparing summary reports and collaborating with other teams so these are the responsibilities of a data analyst also cloudy ml also provides a data analyst and analytics course okay so this is the course uh, for for the people who want to be a data analyst from scratch so this course covers all the required tools like python sql statistics and data visualization tools and uh, the main feature of cloudy ml courses is we provide one to one doubt clearing in skype okay and uh, also uh, you have a lifetime access to our course hands on learning various assignments are present various videos are present and also a course completion certificate so these are the topics that are covered in this course python sql maths and statistics tabling power bi ms excel amazon google data studio and also data analytics or uh, interview q and a package okay so if you want to become a data analyst without a degree you can surely visit our cloudy ml data analytics course as it will be very very beneficial for you to prepare your skills in data analytics so thank you for watching this video i hope uh, it will be helpful for you and uh, you can suggest you can visit the books and youtube channels that uh, i recommended in the video and also our cloudy ml course thank you